had some great uh, conversations this morning with uh, two schools from a state which is one of the two toughest states in the union uh, to deal with because of the lack of collaboration. One school had no money, so, but they decided in their strategic district plan that they were going to incorporate a more of a comprehensive uh, cultural character uh, approach than what they had. And they had several words that they were using to do that. No money, so one of the principals in this team went out and got some money from business, and they're here. Next year, they're going to put money into the, into the program, so they're going to bring a team. That's most encouraging. There was another lady with a similar story. She was a teacher. They had a strategy. In their strategy, they were going to approach the culture and integrate it. And they had some different words that represented their culture. But she was going back to take the message back, and the strategy is next year they're going to bring a team to the conference. And that's from a tough territory kind of state. In Wisconsin, um, we went to the teachers, this decentralized operation in Wisconsin, taking the CEP message forward. Uh, and there we went to the teachers and we said, what it is, at, at a meeting, what it is, what is it that we can do for you? And we made a list of things. And they said, what you can do for us is just give us credit for what we're doing. Basic, what I call Hertzberg motivator. Just acknowledge what we're doing. And so we began a program of promising practices that if you met one of the 11 principles, um, we would then scholarship you in give you a flag, promising practice you could put in your school. And we have flags at the annual conference that are hanging up there from these schools. And then we went to state schools of character three or four years later. Uh, and then we went to uh, getting credit for 11 principles in the conference, uh, continuing education credit. And then we went to LACE, uh, Leadership Academy. And uh, we encouraged teams to come as opposed to the principal. And what's happened there is that every year, the last three years, we have had a school district attending. While our focus was just a school, we didn't think we could take any bigger bites than that, we ended up with a school districts. And the school districts are engaging their communities. Six months into the leadership program, they are engaging their whole community. There was one uh, school district that now is attending. Inadvertently, it's becoming a school district, actually. But they were judged by the state to be in trouble. The state gave them some money. Uh, they formed a team. They brought in somebody from the outside that had been laid off in another school district who happened to have gotten our 11 principals training. And she said, we ought to talk to the folks. So we came in. They had a team. But the principal wasn't there. So we said, we've got to have the principal here. So they got the principal in the room. We chatted. And we left. Told them what was available, things I've just described. And uh, that fall, I called up one of the participants and I said, what's happened? And this was a vice principal. And she said, I can't believe what's happening in our school. I've never had such a quiet fall. Usually in the fall, we have all kinds of problems, all kinds of stuff going on. Had none of that this fall. We have 14 of 40 people in our high school that are on our character team. We pulled the grade schools in to our high school to get them connected with us. And we have seven people at the Leadership Academy. So then I followed up with the principal who was attending the academy. And he said, well, let me explain how it's working. We have PBIS, we have another program, and another program, and then we have the Leadership Academy. And I asked our whole team, which of these do you think would have lasting effect on us as professionals? And they all said, the Leadership Academy. Which of these do you think is going to have a permanent impact on our students after they leave this school? And they all said, the Leadership Academy. And all agreed that these other programs are going to come and go, will have little effect, but this is going to move our, our whole school district and move our children to a better place. The opening um, uh, session that we had, I thought was just knockout. How many places do you go to a conference where they have you laughing all the way through the, through the opening, have you in tears, and are talking to you, not uh, talking at you, but talking with you about what really is going on in a school by somebody who's living it every day uh, and knows how to present the ideas and has a very tear-jerky 
personal story to demonstrate the very things that he's talking about that he's doing at his school. Very rich journey. We have a great conference going. Uh, you're going in the right direction. And the interesting part is you've got a team of two different kinds of skill sets, your CEO and your VP, who, who are uh, focused on the kids in the classroom, who complement each other beautifully, and it's a powerful combination. Very fortunate.